Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lions Mod Spotlights for Afterbirth. Plus, this is Flask of the Gods, an item uh, created by Renis with the concept Cool Monster. Flask of the Gods is an active item that can be used three times. Each time the item is used, it grants the user a stats upgrade, full health, and changes the color of their tier to orange. But have caution, drinking too much makes you lazy, then crave a greasy breakfast, but sure. Uh, also, while this item has nectar in the flask, you have 100% angel precedence. Once it's used three times, it becomes empty and you lose this benefit. So basically, you have a three-use item. Every time you use it, you get a stats increase that also fully heals you. Um, however, if you keep some nectar in the flask, you always get deal with the angel precedence, which is kind of cool. So I'm thinking, uh, by the way, of course, link in the video description below if you want to go pick up this mod for yourself. We're just going to start up a run as maybe like Kane and give this a try on a basic run. And we're gonna keep this as our active item for the whole run. So uh, go to, wait, give item, give item is one word, flask of the gods. I don't know why it's in here as C11, C512, and C513, and C514. Oh wait, this is the, these are the states that you could possibly spawn it in. Okay, so we wanna give C511, which is the full flask of the gods. Dope. All right. So if we use it once, you can see it gave us damage up. I'm not sure why it gave a speed downgrade. Maybe that's just something that's... Uh, it, it has like a, a, a stats upgrade and maybe like another stat gets a minus stat down... Or a mi mild stat downgrade or something along those lines. Anyway, here's what I'm thinking. It's a cool item. It's like a, a goat head that gives you angel precedence only as long as you're holding it. However, there are competing desires. You want to... Uh, well, first off, I saw people in the Steam comments for this mod that were like, why wouldn't you just keep Nectar in it at all times? Well, because if you're trying to win, Angel Rooms aren't always that good. That's a big reason why. I'm going to skip the first item room just to because we've already given ourselves a good item. You know, let's keep it a little bit more balanced here, although I doubt that it really matters in the whole scheme of things. Um, the other reason is, uh, you know, we might actually run into trouble and then we'll want to use the flask to heal. I think it's a cool idea uh, for an item. You know, there's competing desires here. On the one hand, you absolutely want to make sure that you... If you want to experience the flavor of the item, you want to keep a little nectar in it so that you get the uh, guaranteed deal with the angel. Now, wait, I'm, I've got to remind myself or, or figure out for myself. If we get hit, do we still have a 100% deal with the angel chance? Or does that become... Uh, you know, whatever our normal deal chance is, but if we get the deal, it's 100% that it's going to be a deal with the Angel. Because if it actually gives you, like, the full-on goat head, even if you take red heart damage, you're going to be fine, that's potentially really useful. It strikes me as a cool idea for an item. And again, you want those stat upgrades. Wait, I guess, let me rephrase. I'll make it sound even better. Here's what sounds coolest about this item. If you just want to use it for one floor and then roll with something else, you get three stats increases for the cost of like nothing at all. And maybe the health will benefit you, you know, in one way or the other as well. Um, but if you want to roll with it long term, you can hold off almost like a Pandora's box sort of situation and try to get more value out of it later uh, by forcing the deal with the devils to happen, or sorry, deals with the angels to happen. Or, you know, you could do some variety thereof. Maybe you're in a position where you want to use it like the monkey's paw. You know, you're very low on red hearts. Maybe you're playing as the Keeper or something like that, and you want some get-out-of-jail-free cards. Um, this gives you that kind of versatility without really seeming like it's ridiculously overpowered. And the fact that it only has three charges and runs out uh, strikes me as, at least conceptually, that seems like a proper balance. So, I'm eager to see how this works out for us here. We will have the opportunity to fight an Angel Statue. Renis. Renis, though. Hold up here. While the item has nectar in the flask, you have 100% angel precedence. Renis! What happened here, man? Maybe the first floor doesn't count. Or maybe it's because we gave it to ourselves artificially via the... Um, via the spawn menu, but just to be safe, I'm gonna meet you halfway on this run, Renis. I, I expect that maybe we've hit some kind of edge case or something like that where, you know, it's only when the item 
I mean, there's nectar in this flask. I'm just gonna freaking tell you that right now. Um, maybe it's only when you actually pick up the item in an item room or an angel room or something like that that it makes this happen, but, uh, that it makes the, the angel precedence happen. We're gonna make the run work either way, but it's possible that I may have accidentally foregone, like, the coolest possible effect of it. We'll see what happens on the next floor, though. Right now, it has a 50% chance of a deal with the angel. The problem is, if we get a deal with the angel on the next floor, we're not gonna know, right? We could also spawn uh, another flask for ourselves and see if that changes things. Well, I'll tell you what we will do is use a, we'll use the Joker card immediately on the next floor and see what happens. Either way, the flask is still a cool idea. Um, even if we don't get to see the uh, angel precedent in action here. But we'll, we'll try to make that happen for certain. So put the bomb down. <sighs> I really thought that was going to be the secret room. We've been to our curse room. Uh, we should get a spirit heart just in case. Oh, okay, and I walked right into the spirit heart, which is extremely lucky because uh, it could have easily gone like that. Could that could have been a key or something? Instead, we got uh, we got lucky. Yeah, that was bad damage, obviously, on my part. Many bombs and a good chance maybe to get chaos. A chance to get chaos. Oh, come on, two cents short right now. Two cents gotten. So this like completely nullifies the value of angel rooms, but makes the whole run more interesting as a result. So I'm okay with that. All right, we've got nectar in the glass. Don't even start with me telling me we ain't got no nectar in this glass. I'm looking at it. It's at least half full, but it should be two thirds full. Joker card. It's a deal with the devil. All right, so we've mess this up in some way perhaps let's give ourselves an item again um give item flask let's go for c512 this time or wait there's we don't want an empty flask yeah let's go for c512 i don't know where it went all right well i'm at, i've seen screenshots of the mod in action Nobody else in the Steam comments is complaining about this, uh, causing, like, issues. So I'm gonna assume that it's an issue of giving myself the item, uh, via the mod console. You know what, just to... Let's meet in the middle here. Um, I feel like you've betrayed me for two floors. I'm not actually feeling betrayed here, by the way, but... Um, what we're gonna do then is... Pop this once, get a stat increase. I'm gonna empty this shit out first. And then I'm gonna be a total scumbag and give myself a full one again. What about C512 is two thirds, C513 is one third. Yeah, C512. It's, wait, did I, I gave myself 512. C5, give item. C5, 11, there we go. All right, so we got a fully charged flask again. I'm not just trying to abuse this, by the way, to show off the fact that, um, you know, check it out, I can give myself unlimited stat increases. But I'm thinking, like, we'll just not use it anymore. Wow, little horn from a golden chest. Thank you, Chaos. Um, we'll just not use the flask again to heal. And we'll accept that it's given us some pretty nice stat increases over the course of this entire run. But to be honest with you, like part of the reason this mod caught my eye is the, the competing ideologies of how should you use it. You know, it's always nice. You, you chug the whole soda all at once. You get that delicious burst of flavor. However, you know, you don't have any stored for later. Whereas if you savor it a little bit, you get that deal with the angel precedent. Or guarantee, as it, as it's descriptive, which uh, strikes me as pretty neat. At least our tiers are orange. I cannot dispute that, but I don't know. Maybe my bad. Maybe maybe it's a bug, or maybe it's uh, indicative of the fact that you shouldn't just spawn it for yourself in the mod console. But if you're doing spotlight videos, there's really no other option. As much as I, you know, don't just immediately want to jump to defend myself, but I'm I, okay. I could spend hours trying to will it into existence on the angel room to encounter it in vivo but that's not really practical to be honest with you 
you know, how, what's the fastest way to get a deal with the Angel? You have to play to the third floor of every run, and then at best, there's a 50% chance you get a deal with the Angel. So, it's a, uh, it's an investment, that's for certain. But I still hold out hope. Obviously not on this floor, but starting on the next floor, there's nectar in the flask. Maybe we made a mistake by using it once, and then that's what caused our problem here. Like, an angel room has to exist on this floor, right? What if, because what if we got duality? If we got duality, um, are they spawning an angel room, or are they just opening a door to an angel room that already exists somewhere in memory? I'm not sure. It is also possible that it's just bugged, although I have to imagine that, you know, in testing you would be like, hey, this thing that seems like it works doesn't. And instead we've probably created some kind of edge case that if the developer's watching, he's pulling his hair out right now, like, why didn't I fucking think of that? Like, this is embarrassing. Don't be embarrassed, all right? This is the mod community. Nobody's in the wrong here. There's no judgment here. We'll work it out together. It's live QA. Maybe in fr oh. That's what I get for being smarmy. Maybe in front of like 60 to 80,000 people. No big deal. I'm not even being facetious. We're promoting a pro development atmosphere here. Or at least I'm trying to. Alright, so Cursed Eye, obviously heinous. I give us about a 2% chance of getting a deal with the Angel here. The 2% would be like maybe the bug is spontaneously resolved or... The Joker card doesn't fit the rules of the system for whatever reason. I would love for that to be the case. Although I doubt very much that it is. But next floor. Next floor is where the magic happens, man. That's a deal with the... That's a, that's a, that's a deal with the devil. Alright. So it's th here's what I'm thinking now. I'm, I'm thinking to the possible architecture of the mod. And you might be saying, why bother? It might just be broken. Sure. I hope not, though. Um, and I'm thinking that maybe when we spawn this item for ourselves, somehow it was like, you know, you spawn the item, but there's no nectar. So I'm hopeful that when we gave it to ourselves again, we could get some, you know, indication that there's some nectar out of it. By the way, great use of this item, potentially. Um... Play that Demon Judgment and then heal up many times. But I don't really want to do that right now because, uh, you know, I've already used the three stat increases. So it becomes like, this run is in danger right now of essentially becoming a run where it's like, hey, we've given ourselves 12 stat increases. Isn't that an interesting mod? That reflects poorly on me. I'm basically enabling God mode on myself. So if the, if the secondary part of the mod doesn't work right now we're still endeavoring to have an entertaining isaac run okay and there's no way to refill the flask we could simulate the effects of it by giving ourselves uh duality and the goat head and then just only going to the deals with the angel and then we could take whatever active item we want but it's sort of like it's not really what i started this run looking for Okay, Thame is pretty solid. The problem is, if we get a deal with the Angel, we're also going to be like, did we get a deal with the Angel because of the fact that we had Nectar in the flask? Or did we get a deal with the Angel because of the fact that, uh, you know, we just got a lucky dice roll? And we have, like, a 16 or basically 17% chance of a deal with the Angel as is right now. The run is good, though, and it is good thanks to the Flask of the Gods, I have to admit. Keep our spirit hearts alive here. Um, you know, the, the stat increases that that has given me has really taken me to the next level on this run. Otherwise, we'd be in a, a bit of a, a wonky spot, I think, given... Well, we've already skipped, or we've also skipped every single deal with the devil that we've faced. So, you know, that, that's probably guilty of holding us back a little bit here as well, but... Wow, Little Horn just crushed that mushroom. Maybe it wasn't Little Horn, maybe it was just our tears, but it felt like Little Horn. 16 bombs. Should check for secret and second secret rooms. I don't think you're likely to pay out, but sure. 
whatever, you will be exploded, just like the rest of them. Relax is fine, because it's not extremely deleterious, and we will pick this up right now. Okay. I gotta admit, this run has, like, an expiration date on it. But you know what would be real nice right now? Maybe, like, a guardian angel. Maybe a godhead. Sacred heart. Uh, prayer card. Basically, I'm just trying to be a dick and list as many angel items as I conceivably can. Cursed Eye is the, is the real killer when it comes to difficult boss fights here. So I, I feel like the most logical outcome here is that we're not going to get any deal. I give that approximately a 57.5% chance of happening. Okay, we've been to our item room. Let's go back. Let's go back. I guess a Thame plus Cursed Eye is not necessarily that good, huh? After we finish this floor, I'm going to read the item description again. Because I'm not putting it past myself that maybe I misread it. And, uh... It wouldn't be the first time, got to admit. Just trying for something here. Uh, let's, let's check this room down here as well, while we're here. Dope. Um... Yeah, it wouldn't be the first time, so... I'm gonna try to use bombs, maybe, to get through this guy, and then... We know if we get hit... We have a Thame, as long as we don't teleport on a charge, so... You know, get a full charge, and hold it. Hit with as many bombs as you can, slash... Feel compelled to try. Linkin Park said it doesn't even matter how hard you try, but I disagree. We gotta deal with the devil, dude! I will not rest until we get a deal with the angel on this run. All right, meet me in the meet me in the community page here. Flask of the Gods is an active item that can be used three times. Each time the item is used, it grants the user a stats up, full health, and changes the color of their tears. But have caution: drinking too much makes you lazy. Also, while this item has nectar in the flask, you have 100% angel precedence. Once it's used three times, it becomes empty, and you lose this benefit. I can only assume that um, there's there's just a simple code oversight here, and that if the the thing that gives you angel precedence is not directly tied to the function that's called when you pick up the item. Instead, it's called when you know. I, I honestly, I'm I'm in over my head without even knowing how the mods are scripted in Lua to begin with, and it's quite conceivable that this mod maker is a better programmer than me. So I don't I don't want to come across as like trying to be a know it all, but actually not knowing shit. But it seems like there is a. You know, an unfortunate decoupling of the perceived effects of the item with what happens at least when you spawn it via the mod console. So, um, at the risk, let's... Look, it's been fun. Flask of the Gods. I'm sorry that it, it might not come across as the most uh, fair mod spotlight here. I'm going to give item C514. I'm going to give myself the empty flask. Just so we don't have a temptation. That was me jamming the space bar to make sure it worked. Um, just so we don't have the temptation to uh, use this item anymore. Because I have already used it three times. So we're going to try to make this run work regardless. Don't think this is an admonishment of Flask of the Gods, you know. If you find it naturally in the Angel Room, I'm not going to, you know, give you my word that it works. But I'm going to assume that it works. And either way, we at least got the effects of the stat increase. So I am happy about that. Although, if I had known that... We don't have a trinket to smell. If I had known that it wouldn't work the way that I had assumed it would work, I probably would have saved it and tried to use it as a, uh, a high-value play, like getting fully healed after playing that Demon Judgment, for example. Or, But then, to be fair, I don't know why I just used it, like, three times. I guess because I felt like I'd been ripped off from a couple Angel deals, so a stat increase seems like fair uh, recompense for that. So we're gonna look for a good active item to get us out of this. Ooh. We haven't had small rock in like actually forever, so I don't know why it gave us a tiers upgrade. Maybe it always has, and I'm just waking up for the first time. Gotta thank God. I don't know, but today seems kinda odd. So yeah, take take this as a flask of the gods. Excuse me. Excuse me. Positive. But with a little bit of a caveat right now that I can't fully sign off on the uh, angel deal 
mechanic. If we start getting angel deals now, when it seems like we have a 4.5% chance to do so... You know what? I was going to say I'm going to lose my mind, but I'm not going to lose my mind. I'm going to be very happy. I would be overjoyed, actually. Mostly because we need some kind of leverage on this run to get us out of this cursed eye hellhole that we find ourselves in. Oh, come on. This cursed eye hellhole we find ourselves in right now. Dude, dope, dope, dope. Oh, you freaking jerks, dude. We may actually die right here. I don't know how much HP we have. Some of this damage has been, like, entirely my fault. In fact, all this damage has been entirely my fault. Yeah, that's probably a more fair way to describe it. One more room, then we get HP. Oh, okay. We're going to get HP. We're going to get a lot of HP. It is a bummer, because I think you can probably tell I've got a soft spot for uh, items that have the chance to make angel rooms better. People, like, are under the false impression that I'm extremely anti-angel room. It's really just that devil rooms have proven to me to be so much better that I haven't found a good opportunity to use angel rooms. And I'm looking... Oh, you fucking asshole. I'm looking for any opportunity I can find to use angel rooms. So, if you could give me more reason to use them... I'd be over the moon. You know what? Just hit me. Just hit me. Is this what this run is going to be? Four and a half percent chance we got... I, look, I don't know. I don't know what caused it, but I'm happy with it. Sure, give me Nun's Habit. It doesn't actually affect us right now. Um, we have... Like, no real reason to want to fight this angel statue right now. But this run is already in such a weird-ass position that, honestly, yeah, just... Just fight the angel statue. And how are we going to fight the angel statue? The same way we fight anything on this crazy mixed up planet. We're just going to walk into the enemies and, you know, make it happen. Honestly, I'm very stoked. First off, honestly, Vanessa, it's not mine. But beyond that, I'm stoked we got an angel deal. Whether it's because of the item or not, I I'm happy about it. Um, because now this run has some weird kind of notoriety going around, you know? This is the run that shouldn't have angel statues, or shouldn't have angel rooms, but somehow... Or should have had angel statues, and then somehow didn't, and then shouldn't have had angel rooms, and now somehow does. So, you know, I, I recognize there's some inherent absurdity to that that hopefully makes this at least worth watching. Hit me. Rooms with a lot of enemies? Ah, uh, but we shouldn't do it on enemies that are likely to die before I can actually touch them. That's fair. We need, like, the, the perfect option for this run right now is Drain You. Greed's Gullet. Weird, but not entirely necessarily bad, but probably not great. I actually... Oh, we, we won't have a donation machine to blow up. Why Drain You? Or why, uh, Crow's Heart? Whatever it's called. The, the trinket that causes you to take red heart damage instead of black heart damage. Honestly, we're victims right now because our black hearts are too strong. So they're going to kill enemies before we have the chance to hit them with a the Thame and possibly get some value out of them. Please be greed. Okay, it's still good. still good. Um, we also have Chaos, which I totally forgot about. Not quite enough money yet, but you got to think that these guys... With this many bombs, they got a chance to hook us up. So that's Blood Bag, which I think is absolutely worth taking. Especially at uh, at half price. Anyway, yes, drain you. You get the idea. How to jump would be fine, by the way, if we could actually swing it. Use diaper. It's toilet paper that causes our enemies to stay still. I'm mean, use diaper. I'm assuming makes us like weirdly stinky in some way or the other. So this is our ideal time to get hit. Not that was actually a very suboptimal time to get hit, but it's our ideal boss fight to get hit on. Although, I gotta be honest with you, it, at this point, you know, we got really lucky with those Athame payouts earlier, and now I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, is this actually the right course of action for us? I think you gotta engage Cursed Eye Protocol again, which is, 
if things look complicated, hold a full charge. And then we're lucky enough to be able to walk into enemies. Yep, that was so... I watched it happen and I was like, I am an idiot. To get hit by that spider of all things. I believe, though. I believe in this run. I have lost a lot of black hearts making this happen. Turns out that my my shrewd move was really only great against that one particular boss. Some conditions that might not exist into perpetuity here. Good, good, good bomb. We don't have bomb bag or anything, but we're getting uh, enough of them to stay in the money here. So what has this run been so far? It's been a subversion of expectations, is what I would say. Oh, we do have bomb bag, that's right. Um, it's been a subversion of expectations. I do feel like I'm adrift right now. I'm like, I don't know where I am on this run. Uh, I'm hopeful that we can make it work, though. I think the best thing that we can do to make it work is probably just to go back to pretending that this is a regular Isaac run. If this was a, a regular Isaac run, what would we do right now? Well. This is step one. We look for our secret room. And we'd hope for uh, either a steam sale or enough money to buy an item. And that's definitely enough money to buy an item. I recognize we could get an HP upgrade, by the way, out of Greed's Gullet. I mean, we just did uh, get an HP upgrade out of Greed's Gullet. But I think I'd rather... Ha I mean, how to jump could be good, but I think I'd rather go for the bombs right now. And we definitely do not want Breath of Life. See, I guess, you know, sure. Give me how to jump. Let's make this happen. Feels like I'm walking on sunshine. Uh, second secret room possibilities. Hopefully getting rid of that item, by the way, doesn't compromise our ability to get deals with the angel. There's no reason it should at this point, but... Now, in case it's not obvious, I hope it's clear... Any jokes made at the the mod's expense are done so as jokes only. Like, I don't consider this run to be a waste of my time. I consider it that, you know, it's like playing a, a game in early access that had a bug or something that, you know, was unexpected. It happens. The mod only came out like four days ago. And it might, it might only be a bug related to its function in the spawn menu, which is effectively related, or it's something that's only going to affect, you know, like a small percentage of people who turn on a mod and immediately want to have that item as opposed to who, you know, enable a large collection of mods to, to see more items in their actual game. So certainly, it, you know, especially to the to the audience, I'm not trying to, you know, say this is a bad programmer or a bad mod or something. Is there an enemy left? No. No deal with the devil. No deal with the angel. Oh, but I tinted rock I ignored. Okay, 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 okay. But I hope that's clear. I hope that's just clear implicitly to begin with here. But now we do find it, kind of find ourselves stuck on this run, you know? You've got to get yourself together. Got yourself stuck with the cursed eye. And you can't get out of it. You get about a half second of invincibility is what I've anecdotally heard on uh, how to jump here. So we are going to use it as if it's Enter the Gungeon. Try to use that to preserve our safety. Great lemon party. You know, at this point, the more money, the merrier, dude. Tears Up is also great. Where I'll become really confused on this run is if we get nothing but deals with the angel for the rest. So we have like a high a higher chance of getting a deal with the angel than, than of getting a deal with the devil. That's obvious. Dude, this is a great time for a little horn shot. Come on. Come on. Um but if we exclusively get deals with the angel from this point onwards, I don't know. Maybe it was little horn. Or not little horn, sorry, uh Flask of the Gods. Yep. But you didn't do anything, Flask of the Gods. Or wait, it's, it's the Simpsons quote. You didn't do anything, Mr. Nimoy. Didn't I, Lisa? Didn't I? Maybe it's it's behind the scenes pulling the strings, you know. It's the fucking puppet master. Pull the thread and the whole sweater unravels. So, this is where we're at on this run. 
kill him. <sighs> Fuck. This is where we're at on this run. I am using our vanilla, like, attack fly to do all of our damage. Doesn't make me feel great about our future chances, if I'm just being 100% honest about it. Yeah, okay, I, okay, all right, sure. Um, well, here's what you do. You grab dead cat, oh, one HP. What are you doing? I have, oh, you need 25 HP, or 25 coins to get to uh, your first heart container with Greed's Gold. I thought you needed 20. Uh, and by thought, I mean I just misremembered. Um, so, my genius play turned out to be slightly less genius, but we're still only five cents away from uh, getting an HP upgrade, maybe feeling a little bit better about our standing in the world right now. And we don't need that HP upgrade to show up, like, right away. Although it would be nice. We can always get it on a future life. And hey, if Cursed Eye was gonna teleport us out of a boss room anyway, why bother with the middleman? Why not just die instead? Not my ideal boss fight right now, if I'm being honest. I might get rid of how to jump for the white pony. It's less trendy, it's less glamorous. I think it might actually be a better item. Holy shit, we lived. Although the game doesn't seem to recognize that yet, because the music's still on. Okay, uh, down to the next floor, I suppose. We're still going strong with a big question mark at the end. Curse of the Unknown. Uh, you have no power over me. I know exactly how much HP I have. What can you take from the man who's lost everything? I think I'll wait for three s- ah, fuck it. <laughs> it's like, I think I'll wait for three cents, then I'll go to this curse room. Who cares? Give me a spirit heart, or don't. I can see forever. Ooh, caffeine pill's pretty good. Full health. So we'll die, and then we should respawn outside of this room. I hope. Oh, fuck. There you go. We've done it. We've done it. Deals with the angel are all sorts of effed up right now. Magic mush? Infested. Infested. Told you. Um, just keep it going here. You're, you're actually, we're actually not in as bad of a spot as it might initially seem. Are we in a good spot? No, I wouldn't go that far at all. You might want the broken onk here. My onk broke. And instead, now this like initial mod spotlight has turned into an Isaac puzzle, you know, worthy of the Sunday New York Times crowd. Cause this is a, a doozy. Not quite as bad as a couple of keeper runs I've had lately. There we go, there's our first HP upgrade, more coins. Here's the thing with Greed's Gullet though, I'm trying to think like, is this the ultimate um, abusable nine lives helper in this situation? Cause if we die, will we come back with one HP or two? And if we come back with one, how do we get around that? Do we just find a way to spend some money and then give ourselves the money back with, um, like, later so that we eventually get the, the trigger for the HP container? I don't know. If we just respawn with two HP, that's ideal, I suppose. Although, that, that seems unlikely to me. So we got Mom's heart here. Hilariously, we could go fight Hush. Um, probably not too high on my to-do list. Of course, we gotta beat It Lives before we get too cocky about uh, being able to fight Hush. Throw some bombs down there. We got we got potent bombs. It's one of the one of the myriad strengths of this run right now. We got enough of them to to go on it for now. We can also charge up a, a full uh, cursed eye shot in like not an absurd length of time. 
Which means if I ever decide... What? We had one HP? Where's Greed's gullet? Am I losing my mind? I thought we had a Greed's gullet backing us up here. Maybe it just does not work with nine lives. Because we definitely crossed 25 cents while having that life. So I'm confused, but in many ways that's been like the dominant theme of the run, so... After a while, when confusion becomes like a default state... Same fucking enemy. Uh, it's hard to feel confused anymore because it's just the way it is. Things will never be the same. So what do we do to get out of this? You know, we, we've gotten ourselves out of, out of buckets, buckets of syrups that were worse than this. That was just, just forget the fact that you heard me fail to say that. Um, we've gotten ourselves out of worse situations than this. And I mean that sincerely. Um, you just save your white pony effect until you know that it will kill mom's heart. And honestly, I don't think we're too far from that right now, but it's very unpredictable, like, where you're gonna land here when you finish this, so... Yeah. That was scary. Missed out on our 46% deal with the devil chance. Alright, 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 alright. We got a good luck stat, we can make this happen. Hope you're enjoying the, the bonus Isaac run today. Again, I don't wanna... <laughs> it's, it's hard, like, I'm not saying, have sympathy for me, but... You know, I went into this thinking... Hey, we got a good mod, it's gonna give us angel items. Easy run, right? Instead, I found myself, um, you know, subverting my own expectations. I'm on this run that's a little touch and go, and I'm, I'm fighting for, like, my own pride right now. I don't understand, you know, I, I've got Greed's Gullet, but Greed's Gullet's not really seeming to work. Maybe it's only the first time you cross 25 cents that Greed's Gullet works, and we did cross 25 cents and then dip below it on, uh, on our shop on the depths too. So that maybe that makes sense, but like I'm I'm uncomfortable and I'm I'm ignorant of some of the mechanics that we're facing right now. And that just adds to the discomfort. And then we got a whole discomfort cocktail sort of thing going on now. And you know we got nine lives, one HP, so every HP makes a difference and we should not have to use uh, the the pony effect here. Much more useful later on on this run. Alge's blank rune. So I guess you're hoping it's blank card Yera. Uh, honestly, anything that gives us more money, I'm into at this point. Because if we get into, uh, you know, the 50 cent range and we actually hit more HP, I'm not going to be mad. I'm gonna be very, very excited. Oh, th this has already given it to us, so just check. 50 cents, we got HP, yeah, okay. So definitely like do not die now. I was kind of hoping it would give us the heart container, but I should have known that it wouldn't because we've had this before. Ooh, and then 75 cents. So we're actually at three HP now. Lemon party's great, by the way, so let's come in here, drop that item down. Okay, so we're gonna fill ourselves up on HP right now. We might have just given ourselves the keys to the kingdom via the most unlikely avenue that one could possibly expect. Help. Okay. So many, like, uh, repellent hearts. It was the repelling of that damnable heart! Came like Jodon Baker there. What is this? I don't know if I've ever seen those floor textures. Maybe my game is bugged out and I don't know what's going on. People are gonna be like, those were in they weren't just always in the game. Those were actually in like the preview post that Tyrone made back in like 2014. Alright, you know what? If that's the case, you freaking got me. You freaking got me. We want uh 
sure that's fine, but um, I mean we really want lucky rock here if we find a room with a lot of rocks, which we've already found. Get the 99 cents? Does 99 cents give us another HP upgrade? Because we can't get to 100. But I still feel like Lucky Rock maybe has more potential for us. Than anything else we could possibly muster right now. That was an accidental wrong direction white pony here. Oh, but spirit, no, no demon hearts. Okay, sure. Nun's Habit gave us a useless charge though, so that's good. I think it's worth trying this if we can get like another red heart in the interim period. I was gonna say, like this can't be the way to go. Just doesn't make sense, but while we're back here, you know, in our ancestral home, we might as well take advantage of it. Um, we have red hearts on the ground, so... What I'm thinking, as you might expect... Yeah, j just walk right into that guy, that's what I was thinking. Um, don't die here. Oh, fuck, don't die here. If you lose your 3 HP life, you pretty much deserve what's coming to you. Hey, why don't you go into the debug menu and just uh, spawn yourself godhead? Look. Your sarcasm is unwarranted right now. I've tried to do right by you. Potion cell. I didn't even realize. Oh, it's because of Curse of the Maze. It's moving these hearts all around. I understand. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Let's just grab this heart. Is it still here? Yeah, it is. It's not, it doesn't really like us that much, but that's okay. Uh, I mean, you know, you throw a bomb down, you get guaranteed money out of these guys. Guaranteed money out of these guys. Guaranteed money out of these guys. Hi, hold an area. Guaranteed money out of these guys. Need six more cents. We need three more cents. Well, yeah, three more cents. This will accomplish that one way or the other. Do we go to four HP on this? I'm going to say no. I was wrong. And I'm very happy to be proven wrong. Because 4 HP, a lot better than 5 HP in this situation. Sometimes I'm of the opinion, no, HP upgrade does not matter. It matters in this case. Yep, that was bad. In fact, we went in here with 2 HP. There were no other red hearts on the ground, but... Did sort of deliberately leave ourselves in a slightly dicier position than I'd say we had to. Oh, you... Spawned right on top of me. Now the earlier HP in that room, my bad. At the end though, they spawned that dude right on top of me. You saw it. I was walking, they spawned the angel right on top of me. Again, could have prevented it, you know? If you have a good job, but you got 20 bucks in your bank account because you overspend, and then a robber comes and steals your last 20 bucks, is the robber to blame for the fact that you have no money. No, he's to blame for the fact that you're 20 bucks lower than you should be. But he's not to blame for the fact that you have no, what? Hold up, what just happened right there? I, okay. We have a second heart container now and it was a Bricano rune the whole time. We're looking for algaes by the way. Fudge. Who's responds me like all the way back here? My mind is so flooded right now. Day guys, we're back, boys. At first, I was afraid. I was petrified. Mm, got flesh, <laughs> Estes of the gods. Wait, flask of the gods. I got the name wrong because I lied. I should have given angel statues, should have given precedent, and when you didn't, should have given you up for Lent, but now I'm back on my eighth life. I'd like to persevere on this modification spotlight. 
I should have read some more reviews. I should have found you in vivo. <laughs> I can't believe oh. Your favorite Star Wars character, C-3PO. I mean, come on. He's sort of a nerd. I guess that when I sing, that's the only time I don't play like a turd. Okay. We've done it. We've done it. Okay. We're down in the bowels of hell. The chest. Oh, undefined. Roll me, daddy. Look at that. Mom's knife out of undefined? I guess they liked the song. And we have HP. We, we can fly, too. We look like a... We look like a cool sperm. We have 10 luck as well, so I'm for that. <sighs> Hoping for the fungi transformation for the extra HP, but to be honest with you, we, we probably will not need it. This run is now great, and this happens so often. You struggle, you struggle, you struggle, you make it to the chest. Oh, it's the easiest run of all time. That was the greatest reroll I've had in recent memory, at least. So, I don't know, dude. It's a weird video. I still encourage you to check out Flask of the Gods on the Steam Workshop. Um, if it, if the angel, no, 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 not with Mom's Knife. If the angel precedent actually uh, works for you, I said that more incredulously than I meant to, to be honest, but if the uh, if the angel precedent actually works for you, I think it's a really cool concept for an item. Unfortunately, it didn't work for us. It still gave us, you know, it's still an item you'd be happy to see on a, on a run, you know? You get three stat increases out of a, a one-time use spacebar item. And I think, honestly, I like the theme of one-time use spacebar items. I like Pandora's box, I like Diplopia, Mama Mega, you know, I don't like the things that it does to my frontal lobes, but... Yeah, that's right, I got two of them. You got a problem? But uh, I like the... Uh, I like the idea of an active item that has a one-time use. Especially if there's also a reason to save it. Like, Pandora's Box is an active item with a reason to save it. And in theory, Flask of the Gods kind of fits the same bill. Nah, the science guy. Okay, so I took like way more damage than I should have there. Lazrags though, and we got two lives. I don't know what our other life is. It might just be a leftover one. It is a leftover one from nine lives, I can see. Depression, and oh, thank heavens. It is our boss fight. I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control, and I think I like it. This was a weird video. Thank you for watching it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Go check out the mod on the workshop. We didn't have the ideal situation with it, but we still had a good time getting those stat upgrades. For now, thanks for watching. Again, click the like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future, and I will see you next time.